the Tiananmen Square protest, commonly known in mainland China as the June 4th incident, or 6-4, were student-led demonstrations in Beijing in mid-1989 and was the popular national movement inspired by the Beijing protests during the period. It was set up by the death of full reform communist leader Hu Yaobang in April 1989. Amid a backdrop of rapid economic development and social changes in post-Mao China, the protests reflected anxieties about the country's future in the popular consciousness and among the political elite. The student called for democracy, greater accountability, freedom of the press, and freedom of speech. At the height of the protest, about one million people assembled in the square. As the protest developed and spread to some 400 cities, ultimately China's leader Deng Xiaoping and other Communist Party elders believed the protest to be a political threat and resolved to use force. So they declared martial law on May 20 and mobilized as many as 300,000 troops to Beijing. Troops with assault rifles and tanks fired at the demonstrators trying to block the military's advance toward Tiananmen Square. Estimate of the death toll vary from several hundreds to up to 2,600 with additional thousands of wounded. The Chinese government made widespread arrest of protest and their supporters, suppressed other protests around China, expelled foreign journalists, strictly controlled the coverage of the events in the domestic press, strengthened the police and internal security forces, and demoted or purged officials it deemed sympathetic to protest. Its memory is widely associated with questioning the legitimacy of a Communist Party rule, which is why it remains one of the most sensitive and most widely censored topics in China. June 4 has been nicknamed Internet Maintenance Day for the number of websites that go offline around the anniversary. On June 4, 2019, CNN's website was blocked by the Great Firewall, although it was available to users in China ahead of the June 4 anniversary. Other international media organizations, including the New York Times, the BBC, have long been inaccessible to users inside China. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo blasted China for its cover-up of Tiananmen Square. He criticized China's human rights record and called for it to reveal how many died in the crackdown, which was later rebuked by China and its authorities. In Taipei, a massive inflatable version of the iconic tank man who defied the military as they entered Tiananmen Square has been on display for several weeks. On June 3, Taiwan's Mainland Affairs Council called on Beijing to face up to historical mistakes and apologizes as soon as possible for the crackdown. A massive Hong Kong vigil was held and tens of thousands of people gathered in Hong Kong's Victoria Park on Tuesday to mark the 30th anniversary of the Tiananmen Square massacre. Hong Kong is the only place on Chinese soil where major mass commemorations are held for the event. Mm -hmm.